Once again, it's time for the Blues Heart Biker Channel, and here we are in December. No Shave November is over. I decided after a couple of years I'd like to see what my face looked like again, so now you guys know what I look like. Anyways, uh, let's hit it. Alright, man, it's a pretty good time today at the uh, NorCal Cycle Swap. They have this uh, uh, every other month in uh, in Sacramento. So it's put on by uh, Cycle Swap, NorCal Cycle Swap. They got Lakeside Cycle Swap, and they got one in Vegas too. And uh, so, anyways, this is the Northern California one, and I've been to it a few times. I think it's pretty cool that uh, you know we're here at the last one of the year. They got some pretty good stuff here, you know. You know, there's quite a few vendors and usually there's a whole bunch of bikes parked out in the parking lot but there's it's kind of cold today believe it or not central california it does get cold once in a while and it was kind of foggy and miserable and so you know a lot of people didn't ride their bikes but but uh and i'm surprised there wasn't more bikes for sale but oh well there were a few cool things but anyways all right well let's look around a little more see what's happening This is a 1947 service car, and it belongs to Stan here. Dan, all right. And uh, so you just bought this. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to turn this into our vintage rust speedometer. This is going to be our survey car with our logo on it for vintage rust speedometers. And you own vintage rust speedometers. Out of Yarnell, Arizona. Yarnell. How, how can they get in touch with you? Stan the speedometer man at gmail.com. Perfect, perfect. All right. All Easy right. to remember. Yeah. So you've had five of these things, you said. I have had. This is my fifth one. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other ones are gone, yeah. and I'm keeping this one. There you go. So they meet, made these bikes for a long time. They made them pretty much unchanged. The 45 cubic inch motor until the, about 1973. So they made these things for like almost 30 years about. And pretty much unchanged. Cool old survivor right here.
Tony. Look at this guy. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, man. You should, you should come by sometime, man. Check yeah, out all my bikes. I, I need to. I need to. Which, oh, all right, you're going to be on my YouTube channel, all right? All right. No all right. Problem, we got Chuck over here and uh, my old buddy from a long time Tacos, ago. Tacos, Blues, and Booze. Taco, huh? Blues, and Booze. He uh, promoted the show and rides bikes. And uh, it's a surprise to see you, man. Yeah. So how's it going? Good, good. And good. how many FXRs do you have? Uh, I think three. Three, yeah. Yeah, so cool, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to get together and do a... A video with you. I have to ride my bike down. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for a ride too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be How else does life? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing a lot or? Yeah, yeah. Doing quite a bit actually. You yeah. Should, you should look into playing for that uh, the roundup in Virginia City. Yeah. That's an old washing machine motor right there. Yeah, Maytag. Uh-huh. Just telling him I've seen it with the closed cylinders on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe they'd use a gas motor for a washing machine, but they well, did. if you're out in the sticks, you know, back yeah. in the 30s, that, yeah. no electricity. Yeah. You guys having a good show? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> now for some reason, 
I wish I was building a motorcycle because for some reason I really like this Springer front end. And it's only 50 bucks. Look at that thing. This is one right here. Oh, it's just a part tail that drives up. Oh, yeah. It's got some beef behind it, too. Yeah, be safe out there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that thing's cool, man. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it could be yours. I know, man. I, would, I, I don't have any use for it. I got too much junk already, but man, I, I don't know why I think it's so cool. It's just like, you know. I'm surprised somebody hadn't bought that already. You don't have any of these for a, a, a 125, do you? I don't, no, not right now. Yeah. I did her like a few months ago, but they're a little Yeah, yeah they're, they're hard to come by. I know. I'm looking for a couple of them for, for a CB125S. Yep, I know the ones you're talking about. Yeah. All right, well, this is Taylor here from Reliable Cycles, and uh, where are you based out of? Oakland, West Oakland. West Oakland, all right, how can somebody find you? Uh, ReliableCycles.com. ReliableCycles.com. What do you do? Mostly yeah. old Honda parts and... Uh, it's a service shop for... Oh, okay. Vintage motorcycles, British, Japanese, anything but Harleys. Uh -huh. 50s, 60s, 70s. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Well, there you go. Cut off at 77. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Harley? Awesome. Well, Good. great. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Yeah, you and uh, Reliable Cycles, be sure to check Appreciate them out it, online. All right. All right, man, thanks a lot. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Here's a moped. What's a Vespa? Vespa Grande. Fifteen hundred bucks. It was probably about three hundred new. Looks like it's probably 
from the 80s or 90s. Hmm. Interceptor 500 V-Twin. Schwinn, <laughs> the Blues Heart Biker. Alright, well that's it. We're going to wrap things up here. Um, it's uh, about the end of the swap meet. It looks like everybody's kind of starting to wrap things up. So, it's just about over with. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good time. Like I said, the NorCal cycle swap up in Sacramento, California. Uh, I've been to it three or four times uh, here in the last year, and uh, if you if you check some of my previous videos, I've got one or two about the cycle swap. I think maybe I've got one about this cycle swap, but check it out. Um, I didn't get too much. I got a couple of cool things I'll show you real quick. Um, all I got was some t-shirts. I went to this all the way to Sacramento to uh, the cycle swap, and all I got was these damn t-shirts. Okay, we got this. Pretty cool. These were only $10 a piece. And uh, got this. Got this pretty cool. And then I got and then I got that pretty cool. So anyways. I didn't go away empty-handed. I almost bought a seat for the soft tail, but I wasn't sure it was gonna fit. Um, I got seats for a couple of different bikes sitting there in my garage that I'm never gonna do anything with, and I didn't wanna uh, buy a seat that I wasn't gonna be able to do anything with, and it'll sit there. So, but anyway, uh, it was a good time, and uh, check out the Cycle Swap. Um, check out their website. 
uh, for the next cycle swap. That's it. We're going to wrap things up here now. Um, be sure to give me that thumbs up and uh, that tells me you like the video hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell that bell lets you know when i uh, upload new stuff let's hear your comments tell me what you think about today's adventure and uh everything else that's going on and uh love to hear from you check out the four rectangles in each corner of the screen those are some previous videos check those out share them with your friends share them on facebook and uh be careful have a good time always and uh, don't let nobody get you down and thank you very much for watching i really appreciate everybody watching and uh, commenting and being part of this so thanks a lot we'll see you again next time every tuesday and saturday at 9 a.m pacific time the blue star biker channel here on youtube thanks a lot